Hey everybody, Ethan here with Semdeck, and today we're going to be taking a look at integrating Beaver Builder with advanced custom fields. Now this is something that when I was first out building websites, I was using a lot of Beaver Builder, and when I got introduced to advanced custom fields, I was frantically looking for any sort of guide on how you would integrate the two. And it's surprising how little uh, information is online about this. A lot of what I found was very technical and kind of hard to follow. So I wanted to make a video showing you how you can integrate Beaver Builder with advanced custom fields to make awesome pages for custom post types. So a recent project that I did for a client, and I'm still in the process of doing it, so you're going to actually see this, uh, this staging environment that I have set up here for the client. Um, it, it's not completed yet, so you'll kind of get to see the, uh, the nitty gritty of it. It's a home service company, and they reached out to me and wanted to add new service pages. Now, this is something that immediately, when I heard the scope of what they wanted, it made sense to make the services be a custom post type, and then to add some fields in the back that the client can edit as well. So if you come to the website and you navigate over here, we'll take a look at the, uh, let's just look at the paver patio tab. You can see this is kind of the template that the services are pulling from. Same thing for land management here too, right? We have a photo some subservices, a main description here, a, a more in-depth description of the service, a contact form, and then the footer. And then obviously a hero image, a hero section with the, with the title of the, of the service as well. So how did we build this? Uh, well, we didn't build it by making a new page for every single one of these. No, we used advanced custom fields and made a custom post type for it. So let's take a look at how we did that. So if we go and we navigate to the back end of the website here, you can see we have advanced custom fields installed. So I'm just going to walk you through how I set this up and hopefully it's of some help to you. So the first thing that we wanted to do with ACF was actually make the post type itself, which you can do by hovering over ACF on your sidebar here and then navigating over to post types. You can see we made this one called services. So this is just the most basic setup that we did to add the services uh, post type. And this is all you need to do to get you know your post type to appear in the left hand side here. We uh, changed the icon there to be a hammer as it's a home service company, so that felt appropriate. But as far as the advanced settings, we didn't do anything to change permalinks or, or, or do anything too wild with that. We just made the post type and kind of made it as basic as possible. So once we made the post type here, we had to add the fields to it. Now the client was very helpful with doing this. They sent me exactly what they wanted listed out for each service, right? They sent me the service name, a little subheading for the service, a service description, and then all of the subservices that are uh, kind of underneath the umbrella of the main service. So we'll take a look at the fields that we added in here. Like I said, we added a subheading. They gave me kind of a, a, a brief overview of the service and then a more full description of it. So we added uh, just a very basic text area for the subheading. And then for the more full service description, we made that a what you see is what you get editor because there's a little bit more text involved. Same thing with the services list there. We made it a what you see is what you get editor because we wanted it to be bullet points. Underneath that, we also added some images. Now, the service image too, I, I've not integrated that with the page templates yet, so you're not going to see that being used. But we wanted some sort of image of the service to include on these pages, so we made an image field as well. So those are the custom fields that we made for this. And then obviously, we had to set it to show if the post type is equal to service. Remember, that was the post type we just made. So after we've made the post type itself and we've made the fields, then we have to actually go in and start adding some of the posts. So if we again navigate over to the sidebar and this time we go to services, again, you'll see that on the side once you actually create the post type. And I think the first one we made was paver patios here. So again, you'll see all of those fields that we added just now within ACF 
you'll see them appear here when you go in to edit one of these services. Now, one thing that's uh, important to note, when I build a site and I use ACF, I strongly prefer uh, using the classic editor. Um, editing it within the, the Gutenberg view is, is not something that I've come to love. <laughs> it's kind of obnoxious. That's just my opinion. I've worked on sites and I've seen many sites that uh, use it that way and that's totally fine. But uh, for my own sanity, I wanted to make sure that we were using the classic editor because to me, it, it makes everything look better and it makes it just function a little bit more nicely. So again, that was what we did. So Let's head back into paver patios here. And the client provided me with all this information. It's super helpful when you have a client that does that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we know what the services are. We know what the full description is. The client provided all of this. And then we know what the subservices are. For paver patios, there's only one. But if we wanted to add another one, we can add uh, pool cleaning services, right? That's just a bullet point and a what you see is what you get editor. It's pretty straightforward. Then we added a service image. Um, this is just a, a photo of a paver patio. Uh, like I said, service image too, that you're not going to see that on the page because I've not integrated it yet, but it's going to be these kind of icons that we're, we're going to use as well. So for the actual post content, there's, there's nothing in there because all the information is, is here in these custom fields that we made. So we can go ahead and update that. Cool. So now at this point, we've got the custom post type, we've added the fields to it, and now for paver patios, we made this post type and we entered the information into the custom fields. Now none of this really means anything unless we actually have a template that is pulling from these fields and displaying it. But not just for paver patios, right? We have to make it display the same template and pull from the same fields for every single service post that we make within the services post type. So how do we do that on a site that's using Beaver Builder? Well, if you're using the Beaver Themer plugin, which you need to do, you can add themer layouts. So let's go over here. So once we're in the themer layouts view, you can see there's there's a few uh, themes that we already made, but the one that we made specifically, specifically for the service post type is obviously services layout. So when you go to create a uh, themer layout for the first time, you'll see this screen. So if we're doing this for singular service posts where this isn't an archive or anything like that you'll you know give it your title you want it to be a themer layout and this is going to be uh, singular use right because these are for the actual post types themselves this is not for the archive of the services where all the services would be listed this is just for the individual service pages so with that in mind Let's hop in to the services layout and show you how it's configured. The location, right, when you click this drop down, you'll see all the post types uh, that, that you have on the site. So you can assign it to certain pages, parent pages, child pages, posts, like a blog post, or in our case, where we made the custom post type of services, you'll see those custom post types appear here as well. Now, we don't just want this to appear for a few services, though, if you want different services to have different information, maybe you added different fields to different services, maybe Paver Patios has some extra photos, and if you're not using you know, a repeater field where you can pick and choose how many and your template will adjust to that, if you're using the free version of ACF, maybe your fields are varying from uh, service to service. But in our case, all services have the same fields, the same information, so we apply this to all services. So we can go ahead, launch Beaver Builder, and take a look at the actual service itself. Now, when you go and open up Beaver Builder for a template for the first time, you're not going to see all this information is not automatically going to populate here. So I'm going to show you how you grab the information from the advanced custom fields that you added to the post type. For the title, 
I think it pulls the post title by default. Um, so that you, you, you should be good to go with that. But, but the hero image, I think by default, it pulls from the featured image. Now we don't, I mean, we, we could have that, but in our instance, and we're going to change this, but let's just have it pull from the same exact photo that we made. So you can click on the column. This is going to be the background in this column. You can scroll down to the background photo. Let's assume this isn't here yet because it won't be here for you. If you want to put in a custom field, you'll click this little plus button right here. You can go to ACF post field photo. We're going to connect the image field that we added to the background image for this column. So detected fields, we can come down here and see here's all the fields that we made just a little bit ago. So we want that to be service image one. Now, one thing to note here when you're adding in images, um, you're going to want to make sure that you're, I think the default is a thumbnail size, which is going to hyper, hyper pixelate the quality of your image, right? So that's obviously no good at all. So uh, assuming that your images are relatively compressed and aren't, you know, like four or five megabytes, um, you can, you can render the full image there. So that's how the hero section work down here. Uh, we added a heading, right? We want this to pull from the subheading field. So again, to add an ACF field, you're going to click this plus button here, ACF post field, and you can find uh, services subheading. So we can save that. Then you'll see that it's going to pull the subheading of whatever respective uh, service that we're looking at. So for fiberglass pools, this is the one that we're using. And you can style this any way that you want, right? Let's say maybe you want this to be size 24. So it styles like it, a normal page in Beaver Builder. It's, it's very intuitive. So we do the same exact thing with this text editor here, right? We want this to be the service pull excuse me, the service full description. So we can click the plus sign, again, ACF post field, drop it down to service full description, click save, and it's going to populate it right there. Uh, same thing here for the photo, drag and drop a photo over into that column, grab it, make sure that it's uh, pulling from the photo field that you want. In this instance, like I said, it's going to just use the same photo for the hero image and this, this photo over here as well. Same thing down here for the subservices. Now, we also needed some sort of heading for these subservices, right? Because it wouldn't make sense if that wasn't there. And that is not something that was set on the back end of the services page, right? So this is just simply a heading that we added on the template and made sure that it went above where this, the uh, subservices field is getting displayed. And then the rest of it, you would style just like a normal Beaver Builder page. We wanted there to be some sort of lead gen opportunity on this page. So we add in a contact form here, and then we drag and drop in the global footer here. And that's, that's it. That is how you go about adding custom fields to a Beaver Themer template. And you'll see this is going to apply to every single one of these that we made, every single service that's on the website. And you'll see for this one, there actually was not a service description that was not provided, and that's okay. Even though there's no information in that field, it just won't display on the front end. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, that is how you integrate advanced custom fields with Beaver Builder.